All right, so as you already know, we are in the multimedia era of Sonic, and we can see that the multimedia is heating up right now because we've got one week remaining until the Knuckles TV show drops. We've got a bunch of shit to talk about regarding that, regarding Sonic Movie 3, if you haven't heard already, as well as some other shit, some Midori leaks that we got to talk about. Shit is getting interesting, okay? It includes Sonic X Shadow Generations, potentially, okay? So, we're going to get into all this right now, but if you subscribe to the channel already, please make sure to subscribe, okay? So, what are we talking about? Obviously, yep, the Knuckles show is dropping in one week, okay? We've got some interesting shit to talk about with that, okay? We've got this, okay? It says here, breaking. Knuckles series content heading to Sonic Speed Simulators. It says Speed Simulator. This includes a bunch of new skins. The level City Escape is coming as a part of this. So they're porting SA2 levels. We know the SA2 movie coming out at the end of the year, right? So it says here, Paramount, Sega, and Roblox are teaming up to promote the upcoming Knuckles show. Paramount, Sega, and Roblox. That's a weird combination. By bringing the movie Sonic characters out of the silver screen. No, not Silver the Hedgehog. The silver screen and onto home consoles and PC via Sonic Speed Simulator. In the game's Green Ozone Lobby, players are noticing a large standee advertising not only the Knuckles show, but the impending arrival of a brand new world to explore, City Escape. The portal to enter isn't ready yet, but the content is set to reveal itself this Saturday at 12 p.m. EST, which I believe is like 5 p.m. UK time, tomorrow, as of when I'm recording this, like all weekly Sonic Speed Simulator updates, or if you're impatient, this Friday night on the test servers. So yeah, we've got some pictures here. You can see the Knuckles show they're promoting it here. You got Chow here. You got, that's the SA2 bins. Oh my gosh, <laughs> fucking hell. What should we expect though? While no official statement is given, considering it is a new world, the likely outcome is an event made to encourage you to explore this city escape. Destroy bandits, collect rings, chaos orbs, etc., to complete objectives. With it, you can usually earn trails, Chow, is that trials or trails? I mean, I know that's trails, but was it as was it meant to be trials? Maybe an exclusive extreme gear, and then maybe by the end of it, all a new characters players. Naturally, one would assume the new character will be more will be movie knuckles. While that's very much still in the cards, data miners managed to uncover one character we know for sure is coming, and they're saying movie Sonic is coming to Speed Simulator, and with it, Sonic Speed Simulator is becoming quite the crossover. Now you can play as over a hundred over a hundred characters in Speed Simulator. I mean, it's been a while since I played, but I didn't think it'd been that long. For my 100 characters. Is it, is it like Sonic with different shoes and Sonic with this model and they're clowning that as characters? It must be that, right? But look, looking at this image, there's a lot of cast here. You can see this is clearly supposed to be City Escape, right? Like the San Fran aesthetic. You got, ooh, Neo Metal Sonic in there. Do you guys want to see a Speed Simulator stream again? Like, I feel like we covered that game enough, but maybe. I mean, I want to check out this. Um, I want to check out this City Escape thing. It looks interesting, but we know it's like hella microtransaction y, right? So if we get in there, it's going to be like grind for like 30 hours to unlock the thing or pay like 10 bucks and you're going to end up paying for this. I don't know. On top of that, they've been teasing little clips of the Knuckles show. It says here Knuckles is a little trouble adjusting to the world of Sonic and Tails in an exclusive clip from Knuckles premiering April 26th. I've already seen the clip. It's a pretty good clip. Um,. I'm not going to watch it because copyright be a bitch, right? But it's a one minute clip you can check out. It'll be linked in the description in the sources. A lot of people have mentioned the fact that James Marsden wasn't there. Tom the Cop wasn't in the clip. And I checked the IMDb page for Knuckles show and he doesn't show up. And all the other credits are listed. All the other characters are listed and the amount of episodes they're in. And James Marsden is not there. Now, what do you think has happened? Did they decide to fire him because he publicly supported Brian Peck in the 2000s? If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. I see Sonic Twitter they don't want to mention that because they know that the movies are doing too well and they don't want to get James Marsden cancelled and ruin the whole shit. But what he did was pretty heinous and Google is your friend, okay? I think, I don't think they fired him. I probably think he just didn't want to be in the show or, you know, he wants to save himself for the movies because he feels like he's too big of a name. I don't think they fired him, but they probably should have given what he did. But nonetheless... Keanu Reeves joins Sonic 3 as Shadow. This is the big topic everyone was talking about earlier in the week. It's still it's still technically a leak. It's not really confirmed by the official Sonic movie Twitter, but people who are in the know and talk to people within the set are saying, like, we've gone to multiple sources, and, was, and they're saying Keanu Reeves is the voice of Shadow, right? It says he's speed along to another franchise. So this was first broken by some YouTuber called, was it name? his name was John Campy or something like that. I don't follow him, but apparently he's really plugged in, right? And then THR posted it and they said they corroborated it with a bunch of other sources or something like that. Um, I think they said it somewhere here. 
I forgot where they said it, but yeah, John Campion Show first reported it, and they said they talked to other sources, and basically it's Keanu Reeves, and people wanted to know what I thought about it. I didn't post a video on the day it happened, because I was like, I don't really have much to say. Like, there were other people that would have been better from a voice standpoint, not even including, like, the actual goats, like the Jason Griffiths and, like, David Humphreys, like, not even talking about the core goats, but even in terms of actors, like, I heard Hayden Christensen... You know, you know those what if clips with Shadow and like what if it was voiced by this person. The Hayden Christian one was good. Uh, Patterson was even a good pick. There were quite a few picks, and Keanu was not my first pick for that. From a clout perspective, though, getting the dude who made you know who did the Matrix and like John Wick, like that's a pretty big deal. And bots are gonna be in seats because of this. Like Keanu Reeves is a big pick, combined with Idris Elba, Jim Carrey. Like bots will be in seats. Movie three. Is going to outsell movie two just off of the just off of the clout alone and the shadow and everything, right? Sonic fans showing up anyway, right? Shadow, right? SA2 movie, that's showing up. But general audience, you got Keanu, you got Idris, you got Ke like it's gonna be big. Game Explain posted a video, I don't know what the original source of this clip, I think it was on Twitter, but it's basically like what Keanu's shadow could sound like. I don't like giving full opinions based on these because you don't know what voice they're gonna put on for the movie. They could put just their own voice or they could put on a voice that's a bit more you know tailored to the character so it's not a definitive how he will sound but we can listen to it just to get a little bit of an idea and see what it's like right you want a war or do you want to just give me a gun people keep asking if i'm back and i haven't really had an answer but now yeah i'm thinking i'm back so that one there that that kind of clip there it sounds similar to a bit more of a Humphrey-ish kind, of, kind of shadow. Wait the f up, samurai. We have a city to burn. Tell that me. one sounds a bit more Griffithy, like in terms of the the, the vibe, like the direction. Oh. Whoever comes, whoever it is. This is a good one. I like this one. I'll kill them. <laughs> I'll kill them. I know kung fu. Okay, mm. bit of a reach there. Eh? kid, Rijon. Rijon was so excited when he got me after Christmas. It was the happiest box. It's clear that there's good foundation there, okay? I'm not gonna take it away from Keanu, but the direction is gonna be important here. I don't want him to just do his voice. He's gotta go in and really go for that, I'm assuming Humphrey vibe, because it's the SA2 movie, and he already sounds like his voice is closer to Humphrey. So he's probably going for that Humphrey vibe, so. We'll wait until we actually hear Shadow's voice. There was a there was a Sonic Movie 3 trailer that was shown to people in a closed setting, and they were snitching on what was in the trailer. I didn't read through all of it, because I'll just wait for the trailer and react to it. But they said that Shadow doesn't speak in the trailer. So I don't know when they're going to reveal his voice. If it's not in the first trailer, then it's going to have to be in the second trailer. But basically, when we hear his voice, I'll give my full opinions on that. And we still got one more thing to talk about regarding the movies. Someone posted this and said, that's why there's no Sonic music in the movies. They couldn't even acquire the licensing from Nakamura. Not Shun Nakamura, not the guy who said Dash and Nakamaniac, because a different Nakamura. <laughs> it said, screwed by the lawyers. Film composer Tom Junkie XL Hulkenborg wanted to use Green Hill's theme as a reoccurring leitmotif throughout the film. However, due to legal issues arising from the rights of Sonic the Hedgehog soundtrack being owned by the game's composer Masatu Nakamura, this was ultimately dropped though the theme can still be heard in snippets sprinkled throughout the film. What do I think about this? Thank God. Good riddance, right? The last thing we need is more Green Hill spam, making the whole fucking movie just repeating the Green Hill theme because that's the Sonic theme. There's more iconic themes and even like the to me is more iconic than the Green Hill theme. Okay, In my personal opinion. Last thing we needed is to hear da -na 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 a million fucking times in the movie as a motif, okay? It's not endless possibilities. I don't need to hear that motif throughout the whole fucking thing, okay? It's not iconic enough to be that. It's not like the SA2, they haven't learned da -na 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 -na. It's not epic enough. I don't want to hear Green Hill 50 times in a movie. I, I just don't. Thank God this didn't happen. 
And there's another thing here. According to the writers for the film, an earlier drop would have included more Alien Worlds characters and game elements. However, the film's scope needed to be reduced to a mostly Earth and human centric setting due to the budget, with CGI character animation in particular being costly, and demands from production staff and executives to keep the film simple, resulting in a lot of ideas being cut for use in potential sequels should the film be successful. So, this is about movie one, I believe, because I remember reading something similar to this for movie one, where it's like we kept it in Green Hills Town or whatever the fuck because expenses and they didn't know how big movie one was going to be like it could have flopped if they didn't change the design it was on the cusp of flopping like it, it could have gone one way the whole sonic trajectory of the 2020s could have been really bad right now luckily we're on the good side but somewhat on the good side at least when it comes to the games but thank god that you know the movie did well and the sequel added more sonic elements and things like that i'm happy to see that but enough of the multimedia let's get on to the game shit midori the most Credible leaker right now, she posted this ages ago. It wasn't enough for a full video, so that's why I didn't put it in a video. But it says, Disney and Sega are working together on a brand new title that will be released on mobile platforms next year. So 2025, Disney and Sega game. Someone posted it's finally time we used. <laughs> this is hilarious, man. Anyway, right? It's a Disney and Sega game. It's coming to phone. It's coming to phone. We already know from the press release. Or was it, it was like a... A press document like last year that they, they said they're working on tons of sonic related mobile games they said ton like it was a lot so another one's coming disney and sega related obviously mickey mouse gonna be in there obviously sonic gonna be in there i don't know what it's gonna be could it be a racing game i feel like disney's already got a racing game so if it's a brand new title it's probably not gonna be that could it be a disney versus sega fighting game i don't know is it gonna be a match three game like sega heroes not sonic heroes sega heroes i don't know it's a phone game. We'll see what happens, right? Um, no idea. But I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with that. Um, what else have we got? This is technically not about Sonic, but I'm going to relate it to the Sonic because, well, we need to, right? We know Sonic X Shadow Generations is coming. And I made a video talking about Sonic X Shadow Generations. I believe it's this video here. If you want to watch this video here, it kind of goes into the details of my thoughts on it and, like, I was specifically talking about the Sonic Generations portion, not the Shadow portion. I mean, I talk about both in the video, but right now we're going to focus on the Sonic Generations portion. And one thing I wondered was, were they going to unlock the frame rate from 60 FPS, right? So, SMTVV is basically Shin Megami Tensei 5 Vengeance, which is like the definitive edition of the game, which is coming to PC 14th June 2024. So, less than two months from now, basically, right? And it's on Unreal Engine 4. And Midori basically said the Steam version of the game will allow multiple frame rate settings from 30 to 144 FPS, including an unlocked frame rate option. So this is Sega, but obviously it's not Sonic Team, it's Atlas under Sega. But it's interesting to see that they are unlocking the frame rate for definitive editions of certain games. Zippo said they were moving to Unreal Engine for a bunch of games. But in terms of the Sonic Generations re-release, I don't know what engine that's going to be on. This game here is Unreal Engine 4. But in terms of the Generations re-release, I don't know what engine they're using. Like, are they still using Hedgehog Engine? Are they switching it to Unreal Engine? I don't know. But it's good to know that Sega is at least thinking about unlocking frame rates. But it's very still much possible that Sonic Generations comes out on the re-release and it's still capped at 60 FPS and it's some bullshit. So it's not a confirmation for Sonic X Shadow Generations. But it's maybe hope, it's giving us hope that maybe when they do the re-release that is actually unlocked because if it's locked at 60 and i said this before if they lock it at 60 it's not even worth buying for sonic generations you're only buying it for the shadow portion which you still have to buy the whole game for it so at that point it'll be a ripoff if they don't unlock the frame rate they've basically done nothing to sonic generation they've not improved it in any way because it's not visually superior so if it's not unlocked in frame rate they've done nothing We'll see what they do. I'm guessing within the next few months, we'll see some footage of that because um, we're coming up on June uh, and May and June, the E3 season, even though E3 is basically dead. Thank you, Jeff Keighley, for murdering that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all of this information. All things have been coming out. Little bits of tidbits of news. Um, looking forward to the Knuckles show in one week. I'm definitely going to be watching that and I will give a review of the show, assuming it's not mid. Uh, I'm hoping it's good. Um, I'll give my review of that. Uh, let me know what other content you want to see. Let me know if you want to see me stream Sonic Speed Simulator uh, when they drop this City Escape. I'm tempted to check it out, but I know this shit's going to ask for some money. So I'm going to have to have some bread ready. I, I, I don't know. But yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell. More content coming soon to the channel. But yeah, man.
That's all I have to say right now. So, Remy out.